It's another typical day for this not-so-typical student in the city of Balchi. Slightly more than a year earlier, Lillian could only dream of returning to school. We were initially living in Yobe. In fact, I was going to school there. Then Boko Haram attacked Yobe and we ran away. Lillian attended three different schools in as many communities, and each one was attacked by armed insurgents, forcing her and other children to flee. Lillian eventually ended up living with family friends in the relative safety of Balchi, and becoming what is known as an internally displaced person. Lillian eagerly enrolled in a non-formal learning center organized by the Education Crisis Response Program, which is funded by the U.S. Agency for International Development and is supported by community organizations, schools, and state governments. With a structured curriculum in a supportive learning environment, Lillian's literacy and math skills greatly improved. After nine months, she became eligible to enroll in traditional, formal classes, known commonly as mainstreaming. She is one of thousands of success stories amid the conflict in which the insurgents are targeting schools, teachers, and students in northeastern Nigeria. We knew very well that after nine months of taking them through this programming, we'll either ask them to continue for the next stage, it's called post-literacy, or when they complete the education, we take them to formal school. The one major thing, challenge with our mainstreaming, uh, is getting the government of the host community to proactively see these children as their own children and be able to prepare for, for their mainstreaming. Of the 14,000 displaced children who completed the first session of the nine-month intensive program, 10,000 passed state-administered exams and became eligible to be mainstreamed into a traditional school. Unfortunately, already strained state educational resources could not handle an immediate influx of new students, which meant only 4,000 were mainstreamed into state school. To assist with these immediate needs, the Education Crisis Response Program turned to the communities and private schools like Zion Pilgrims to help to mainstream children from non-formal learning centers into traditional schools. If the good people of America, of America can come all the way from America to take care of our children. That was a very big challenge to me. It was exciting. Americans coming all the way to our country. And here we are, we have the resources, we have the structures on ground. So let's help them more. We are doing this thing for free. After we graduated about 100 last year, uh, we made stream 12 of them for free. And the reason is that we want uh, the community to know that we love these children. We are concerned about their future because they are going to be great people. 14-year-old Lillian is one of the graduates from the non-formal learning center who has been mainstreamed into a traditional school. She is also a recipient of a scholarship to attend Zion Pilgrims. I am enjoying school. When I attended previous schools, there was no peace. Now we can give our fullest attention to the class. Thank God we can concentrate and understand what is being taught. I will study hard, and if God permits, I will achieve my ambition of becoming a nurse. The mainstreaming of Lillian and her fellow displaced children is a key goal of the Education Crisis Response Program. It is also motivating educators, community groups, and state officials to do more to support the psychosocial and learning needs of these internally displaced children. Our desire is that this is not just the work for USAID, this is not just the work for the good people of America. This is our work. They are our children, so we should take care of them. <laughs>